Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, today we will take a look at the Great British Pound uh, because we have prepared the weekly research on the Great British Pound but haven't taken a look at it within a week so today we are taking a look at some results that uh, Great British Pound uh, is showing right now as the result of the current week um, mostly our analysis has been completed and market has shown the, precisely the action that we have, we, we, we have discussed uh, now it's moving to the target uh, or the current current week. But first, uh, I will show you the euro currency, uh, the following time frame chart. As you can see on the euro currency, market has failed to continue move higher, and now is dropping real significant. Here is the low of our consolidation that probably will have special meaning for us. It's also is accompanied by the weekly pivot support one. We call you to not make the final conclusion right now because today we will get uh, retail sales release and uh, producer price index but retail sales mostly interesting uh, because it will give uh, the first indicator what gross domestic product we will get on the second quarter because as you know seasonally uh, United States economy shows the weak results in the first quarter and usually rebounds in the second quarter and retail sales has very great relation to the great gross domestic product because it really takes the very significant part of it so approximately 75 percent correlation stands between the retail sales and the uh, gross domestic product I even have the regression model when I have studied this subject this was really interesting so retail sales really uh, is very important that's why a situation could drastically change when we will get the retail sales numbers for example if they will be very poor uh, then your currency could show significant upward action. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't say that uh, it's definitely will turn again to the upward continuation to the bull trend. But very deep upward action could happen. That's why uh, be careful with the possible taking the shorts. Maybe it's even better to postpone the taking the short position on the time after uh, release will happen. So uh, this drop mostly was triggered by the comments from the uh, Federal Reserve Bank uh, representatives in the United States who said that uh, if uh, numbers will be good the Fed should rise rate in the June and it, 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 he said that uh, this market is a bit pessimistic on the on the United States economy that has put uh, th that has uh, uh, pushed markets to the downside and strength of the United States dollar so you can see your is dropping right now here guys I would like to say only the one thing take a look at this uh, consolidation that we have the wage patron and the strong support that we had here uh, the bounce here has led us to move stops to the break even for those of you who are taking the long position here that's why guys I will, I will not try, uh, try to, to repeat uh, the importance of the strong supports and having the patience on your back when you have the bullish patron on the back I mean here is we have we had the wedge patron also that was the support it is most probably that you will have time to move your stop to the break unit. at least some minor bounce will happen that will let you to protect your position this has happened again so that's why guys we very often and as a rule we try to use uh, entry points that stand on some significant supports and with the patrons on our back uh, to protect our position despite that market is dropping right now this bounce has helped us to move our stop to the break, break in. All those for those of you who are, uh, have, have taken the risk and uh, tried to take the long position here. So uh, now let's go back to the Great British Pound. On Great British Pound, guys, you can see market right now is dropping the continuation flag pattern uh, that could lead market significantly lower. But as you can see, this really very strong support area stands. Since this is the neckline of the hand and shoulders patient is confidence support 143.50, here as market hasn't been broken yet. That's why today we will not speak on the very deep targets, I mean A, B, C, D, 
too far to the 142 area that we have discussed now weekly research that will have the special meaning for great british pound if market will bro break it it will mean that market stands on the uh, bearish trend continuation but uh, currently let's focus on the minor target that could be achieved today probably uh, as you can see action stands very fast so uh, on the forward time frame chart we have the action that we have discussed in our weekly research so drop lower we said since here is a strong support market probably will show the bounce up in the beginning of the week and probably they will try to test the weekly pivot point this almost has happened and then probably it will continue move down because market has formed reversal candle on the weekly chart reversal on the daily chart I'm speaking on this huge reversal candle huge reversal session it probably will lead to the further um, downward continuation hardly market will be will stop just at the minor leg probably a retracement down will take some kind of the ABCD shape uh, because market is also overbought on the daily chart here was the overbought area indeed right now we see this action so drop retesting on the weekly pivot point and downward continuation also guys take a look here we have the bearish dynamic pressure since trend has shifted bullish but price action is not so you can see market mostly stands flat right now it's dropping and the minimum target of this uh, patron stands here so market should take it out of these lows if we will take a look at the even minor target so it stands at the a b c top minor 618 extension that coincides also with the 1618 extension of this retracement it stands at 142.70 area uh, and the market for example if it will take shape some kind of the butterfly here this will be the minimum target that market will achieve the 100% extension stands at 141.30 uh, so a B equals C D target if you even will take the minor target not from this absolute top but from the point where action indeed has started you will get approximately 142 A B C D target here it will be 143.20 anyway uh, 142 target will coincide with this FIB support so but today we are mostly interesting with this possible reaching over the 142.70 if market will hit it this will complete the setup for a current week uh, again it's very important will be the data that we will get later in the session so let's see what will, what will happen on the euro currency as well guys keep an eye on this area if market today will drop below this consolidation it will mean that we could stand on the road first as we discussed yesterday to the bottom of the confluence and yearly pivot point again that will be near around 111.50 or later market could drop even lower to the 108 area probably because historically as you can see within the year on the weekly chart 108 area what was the support and the market was dropping after uh, failure attempt to break the 114.50 area every time when it has failed to break it it dropped to the 108 here again here here it's dropping into the 105 so this again 108 approximately and here again probably this could be 108 so we will see but the, the fact that retracement will, de will be deep if market will drop below this consolidation and below probably the yearly, uh, weekly pew, uh, sorry, monthly pivot support one so the first support on the daily chart stands on 113.20 area it's also accompanied by the monthly pivot support one but this is not very important guys very important this cons combination this consolidation uh, so combination of the monthly pivot and uh, this consolidation on the top so breaking below it uh, will be very bearish and uh, in this case we expect that market will drop to the confluence support so that's our short-term view on the euro currency and on the great british pound